Hello everyone! It is day 15 of Makeup Mayhem and what the heck? Where has this month gone? This is the second to last day of Makeup Mayhem and I... I can't believe it. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, something more personal. You're gonna be learning 50 random facts about me. You guys requested this in my Me Without Makeup video. I asked you guys if you wanted to see something like this and you said yes. So that is why we are here. So I guess we have a lot of stuff to cover, so we should probably get started. I've been obsessed with donuts ever since I was a little kid. I freaking love donuts. They are probably my favorite food in the entire world, and I loved them so much as a kid that my mom would only let me have them once every four weeks, and I had a calendar, and I would mark every time four weeks would pass, and then I would run into her room on that Saturday and be like, four weeks, donut time. So, yeah. It's kind of a problem. I'm left-handed, but I do everything aside from eating and writing right-handed, so if I'm like golfing, which like never happens, but I have done it before, um, I do that right-handed. I'm sometimes allergic to coconut. You may be wondering why sometimes and I don't know, it's really weird. I actually didn't like coconut at all growing up, and then as I started to really enjoy coconut, I started to realize that I developed this weird semi-allergy. So if I'm eating coconut meat, like straight from the coconut, or if it's shredded coconut, it is bad news. My mouth gets really itchy, my throat starts to feel like it's closing up, and it's just not good. But if it's like coconut in curry, or like coconut water, it's fine. So I'm not really sure what's up with that, I've just kind of noticed that if it's the meat itself, then it's not good. Or if it's coconut milk, because coconut milk comes from the meat of the coconut. So, it's very strange. If you don't know already, I kind of love pandas, like, a lot. And that started in fourth grade when we had to do animal reports, and I chose the giant panda, and it was just a love affair from that point on. The only dish that I have ever ordered at a restaurant and not been able to stomach is randomly at the Cheesecake Factory and it is their most popular chicken dish, which it actually says that on their menu and it is the chicken Madeira. I just can't do it. I don't like it. It just is not appealing to my taste buds and normally I can push through things that I'm not super crazy about, but for some reason that was just I couldn't do it. My mom is from Thailand and my dad is Scandinavian, so I have a mixture going on. I can't speak Thai really well. I can a little bit, but I can fully understand it. My first crush was in kindergarten when I was at the ripe old age of five, and I had the biggest crush on the boy that lived next door to me, and he was in my kindergarten class, and he was just a very cute kid and I I was smitten. We actually ended up becoming really good friends and we never dated or anything, but that's kind of how our friendship started. When I get out of the shower, if I don't immediately have to be somewhere, and even sometimes when I do have to be somewhere, I tend to putter around in my towel instead of getting dressed like a normal person would. I don't know what's up with that, but I just... I don't know, I like avoid getting dressed for as long as I possibly can and I'll just walk around in my towel doing things when I could just get dressed and do all of those things, but for some reason I like to do it in a towel. I can spread my toes really far apart, very random, very weird, not gonna show you guys because it's the internet, and feet on the internet, maybe not a good idea. I was definitely a tomboy growing up, I wasn't super girly, but the one thing that I really, really loved was nail polish, and I still love nail polish today, that is definitely my vice, I always cave when it comes to nail polish, and I think it's just because I love seeing different colors when I look down on my hands, and when I was a kid, I used to paint each nail a different color because I could never decide and I was like, well, I'm just gonna have a rainbow on my hands. My first kiss was stolen from me at a movie theater and I actually made a whole video about it. If you want to go and watch that, it is on my second channel, which is The Grid Monster. It just kind of came out of nowhere and I was like, ah, lips are on my lips and I don't want 
them there. I have known my best friend Melissa since the day I was born. Our moms are really good friends. Our families are just really good friends. Our moms came over to the States from Thailand around the same time and they knew each other before they even knew their husbands and they had us several months apart. So we've grown up together. We know each other inside out. We know each other's quirks and we've just literally been through everything together and she is definitely more like a sister to me so I feel really lucky to have a friendship like that in my life. If I'm at a restaurant and macaroni and cheese is on the menu I kind of feel like it's my duty to try it because I really like macaroni and cheese and my face just lights up when I see macaroni and cheese on a restaurant menu so and I have a thing for mac and cheese, I guess. I have a scientific method when it comes to eating cupcakes. I take cupcake eating very seriously. Whenever I go to a new cupcake place that I've never been to before, I always order a red velvet cupcake because I determined years ago that red velvet would be my control group for cupcakes. So that way, every time I go to a new place, I always try the red velvet, and then I'm able to compare the different places and their cupcakes. I feel like it makes things a little bit more fair when I'm trying to compare the different places flavors if I'm trying the same flavor all across the board. So that is my scientific method when it comes to cupcakes and I highly recommend it. I'm someone that is a serious planner and I usually always plan things ahead. If I'm not writing it down or if I don't have it on my calendar then I have a mental layout in my head. But I still really enjoy and appreciate spontaneity as long as it isn't too crazy. My parents never had to wake me up for school because I was up before them. I was up, I was getting ready, I was making sure that I had all of my homework, and I would allot enough time to get to school and then I would triple check my bag to make sure everything was there and if I forgot something then that would allow me enough time to call my dad and have him come pick me up, get whatever it was I forgot and bring it back to school and I would still make it to school on time. I was kind of weird as a kid just a little bit, and I'm a lot more weird now. I named my first cat, and I named her Bobby. What? What was I thinking? Where did I come up with that? I have no idea. Randomly though, the neighbor next door, their cat's name was Bogey, so I kind of feel like it was fate. I really love animals. All animals, cats, dogs, squirrels, bunnies, horses, fish, but I don't like Spiders. I am deathly afraid of spiders. Spiders? Nope. Not dealing with the spiders. If there's a spider, I am out. When I was studying abroad, my roommate at the time would joke about how her camera was filled with photos of us really memorable moments, and then when you looked at my camera, it was filled with photos of random pets on the street, and there may have been times where I chased random people down the street just so I could take a picture of their really cute dog. I am absolutely terrified of getting stood up or like left somewhere or abandoned. I just like dread that feeling. My first memory of life, like ever, was when I was a baby and I told my parents when I was older that I remembered lifting up my legs and then slamming them down really hard onto my mattress and just doing that over and over again. And they told me that is how I would wake up in the morning and that's how I would tell them that I was ready to be fed or taken out of my crib as opposed to crying like a normal child or like standing up and being cute. But no, I had to slam my legs down onto the mattress. It is no secret that I am very uncoordinated on land. Like, I have issues walking down the street without tripping, but if you throw me in water, it's a whole new world and I'm like a little fish and I feel very comfortable and at home in water. I love being outside. Working out in a gym is basically impossible for me because I can be on a machine like a treadmill or whatever for like 15 minutes and it seriously feels like three hours. I just don't do well working out inside in a building. Traveling is definitely one of my favorite things in the entire world but I do not like flying, especially when there is turbulence. When there is turbulence, I am like grabbing on to the armrest like, this is it, my life is over, we are going down, my palms get very sweaty, and I get very nervous, I get very quiet, and that is how you know that I am, 
I am very nervous and anxiety is just running through my body. I will be straight up puking in a trash can if I go on a roller coaster that has a loop in it. When looking to the future, one of the things that I'm most excited about is being a mom. And I know that sounds really cheesy, but it's true and it's something that I would really like one day. I follow a lot of animal accounts on Instagram. It's kind of an issue, but I highly recommend Puppy Palace Instakitten and Maru Taro, which is this really cute dog. So if you like looking at cute animals, you should go and check those accounts out because they're pretty awesome. I used to be painfully shy, like to the point of almost crying when I had to talk to people that I didn't know. Even though I'm not as shy anymore, I'm still a pretty introverted person and I definitely get my energy from being alone. I love being around my friends and other people, but it is something that takes energy from me. So to recharge, I just kind of like having a little bit of time on my own to just kind of do whatever, walk around in my underwear, watch Netflix, that kind of thing. Cerulean blue is my favorite color in the entire world. I just love it. I have never dyed my hair Ever. I'm someone that's definitely not afraid of commitment and I take my commitments very seriously. So when I start something, I normally always see it through till the end. The sound of a person smacking on their food when they're eating drives me absolutely crazy. I'm normally a very punctual person and I kind of just always have been. I am easily affected by caffeine and sugar. If I have either of those or both of those things together, I am basically like bouncing off the walls. People that are consistently flaky really, 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 really bother me. I mentioned this in my pet peeves video a couple years ago. I just, I don't like flaky people because flaky people, they will stand you up and I don't like being stood up. I have a major sweet tooth and I've always had a chocolate and candy stash in my living space ever since I was a little kid. I will pretty much eat anything. I'm not afraid of food, I'm not afraid of trying new things, and I always try something at least once. But the one thing that I will not be trying again is that chicken Madeira from the Cheesecake Factory. I am a very patient person. I just kind of always have been. I don't really know where it came from, and I don't really know what else to say about it, but there you go. I have a self-proclaimed bladder of steel, and that means I am always the last person that has to go pee in my friendship group. I love indie and alternative music. I've been a huge fan for years, and I really love going to festivals and shows and just just everything. Music is a huge part of my life and I really enjoy sharing the experiences with friends and with you guys. I share music with you guys. One of my favorite bands right now that I'm really into is the Paper Kites and I just found out that they are coming to LA in October so I am very excited about that. Jasmine is one of my favorite scents because my dad planted jasmine flowers outside of my window growing up so every summer they would bloom and the smell would just fill my bedroom at night and it just brings back really great memories. The scent just makes me really really happy. I really want to see a double rainbow like an actual one in real life because I've never seen one and I love rainbows and that would just make me the happiest girl in the world. This may be weird but I'm kind of afraid of nightclubs. I just feel really awkward at clubs because I'm not the best dancer and it's really loud and there's lots of people and they're like grinding on each other and I can't hear what anybody's saying and I just feel very awkward. Like I am just at a school dance standing up against the wall while everybody else is like going to town and I'm just like hey. Cool, I guess. I've always enjoyed taking the road less traveled and challenging myself. Whenever I need to put something together or learn about how something works, I like never read the instructions. For some reason, I just want to figure it out myself, even if it takes 10 times longer. I love cereal, but as a kid, I wasn't allowed sugary cereal, and I really wanted the sugary cereals when I was a kid. So when I would spend the night at friends' houses, I would go crazy with the cereal, so 
There you go, mom. I was sneaking in the sugar. Making my first video and posting it on YouTube was one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my entire life. And I am just so thankful for all of you because you've just really helped me grow as a person and it's amazing to share this experience with you guys. I am definitely all about the little things in life and every single day I try to find at least one good thing in that day. Even if the overall day isn't so great, there's something good in every day. So that's gonna be it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed learning 50 random things about me. And make sure you check out my last video, which I will link down below and at the end of this video. And Generation Beauty is coming up this weekend, which I'm super excited for. I'm really hoping to meet some of you guys there. And if you want to attend, it's in LA and I think there are still some tickets available. So I will have the link down below for you guys if you would like to go and you're in the area. But yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you guys in a couple days in my last Makeup Mayhem video. So yeah, see you then. Bye.